Hey guys, this is Sam Rudloff with Nubability Outdoors. Today we're doing an unboxing with the Shot Cam. And I want to say thank you to Shot Cam and Foster Bartholo, who has helped us got a great deal with this. Let's get into it. All right, so now let's do this unboxing. Here's the case. Uh, you know, the case itself, it's, uh, it's a pretty, it's not hard shell, but you know, it's very firm. It does feel fairly durable. Uh, and let's open it. Ooh. So here it is, the shock cam. Now it looks like there are three good compartments. We got a nice long sleeve compartment here, compartment for our bag right here, and of course, the shock cam, which has a nice little safety strap going on right here to hold it down. But yeah, here it is is so shot can this one is set up for the 12 gauge uh, kind of feeling inside right here because you know one thing i think about a lot is with a lot of firearms sometimes if you have like a blue finish you really don't want to scratch up your gun because you know it devalues it and also you just don't want to scratch up your gun so it feels like a Kind of a soft gel feel to it um, and we'll see how it fits with mine i'll be shooting a browning 725 satori um, and we'll do another video on that so that way we can just keep it with the unboxing but it has a nice lens cap here and then boom there is the uh there's the lens um you know it's feels really durable um Definitely feels like a uh, metal finish on all of this. Um, I don't know exactly the weight. I'll put it in the description so that way, if you're trying to figure out kind of the weight amount you're having on your gun, you can add that to it. Because on the attachment, what you'll do is like, if this here is the, is the barrel, um, here's the forestock, or forestock, excuse me. Um, you're going to put it in front and from a lot of videos uh, I see it going kind of far back but you know we're going to put it on and we'll see how I do over the weekend when I shoot this but let's continue to the next compartments so there's that next up is this bag which is really nice I kind of like the feel to it let's open up door number one and it's empty, uh, so we'll go to door number two. All right, okay, so we got some good stuff in here. All right, so we got the charging wire. We have an Allen wrench, which uh, I will say I really enjoy how they have this grip part for you to work it because, you know, as a person with, uh, with a limb difference, um, an L-shaped Allen, like I can work it pretty fine, but um, it always helps whenever I can do things just kind of with my one hand. And I mean, that one will be pretty easy on there, but for that long part, being able to really work and turn it. So there's that. And then we have a small bag here. So it looks like we have an extra lens cap, uh, two extra screws, which would go on the shot cam as well. And just kind of talking about that gel pattern, again, uh, looks like here's an extra one and another little cap that can help protect uh, your shot cam from dust and all things that you don't want inside your expensive camera. So that's really nice for them to have that included. And here is the uh, an outlet for your charger. I will say um, I'm not a huge fan with this type of uh, charging cable so it's not it's not a uh, USB-C or micro USB 
that's a lot more common nowadays. Um, I've, we actually do have one of these at the office for one of our old GoPros, uh, Hero 3s. But, you know, I was able to buy that cable from Staples, so they're not impossible to find, but um, I will leave that one comment. But this cord looks like fairly long too, which is really nice to have. So we're going to put this to the side. And check out this last sleeve. So it's a nice little long one. And we have a nice little lens cleaning cloth with the shot cam. So right there on the picture too, you can kind of see where they're angling that or where they're placing their shot cam. So I'll do more details about that in another video. And the almighty user guide. So there's that. And I got to say, um, I do like how they have this pouch here because we also ordered their 28 gauge uh, clip for the shot cam. Um, so I was, we could probably fit in here, but you know, another option will, I mean, yeah, goes right into there so that way we can put that there. We're also getting a 20 gauge uh, version as well because our campers, sometimes they don't have the most developed shoulders, so we don't want to blast them with a 12 gauge hitting their shoulders. So we want to make sure that's good on that. And we want to make sure that we can capture some amazing footage of our campers, um, learning about the shooting sports, learning more about uh, how they can get into colleges, how they're is Paralympic and Olympic opportunities for them. So yeah, I'm looking really forward to testing this out on the field. See you next time.